Hello, everyone. Uh, that was an amazing intro, Mitch. Uh, so I was uh, wondering how exactly I would introduce myself, um, especially uh, considering all these Istio experts sitting in front of me. So I'm, uh, well, compared to many of these people, I'm a newcomer to Istio. So I wanted to make sure that that is highlighted here to indicate how supportive Istio community is for newcomers. Uh, considering that I'm uh, in this program committee for the first ever Istio in-person conference here. So welcome everyone. I'm Fasila. Uh, I work as a cloud native developer at Ericsson Software Technology and uh, I also serve in the steering committee of Istio currently. All right, so as we get started, of course, we have a lot of people to thank right out the door. And uh, one of them, as you came in, you should have been greeted by our platinum sponsor, Tetrate, uh, who made it possible for us to put this event together. So a huge thanks to them. <laughs> we'll hear a little bit more from them uh, throughout the day. Was this mine? All right. Uh, another, another group of people that we need to thank is our program committee. Uh, you know, this is only a half day event. So there were extremely few slots uh, that we were able to fill, and we had something like 10 proposals for every slot that we could fill. The program committee did an amazing job working their way through these. We trust that we've come up with a program that will be of interest to you all, that will be engaging, informative. We're going to be looking at some existing use cases, what users are doing already with Istio in production. We're also going to be looking ahead and seeing what's coming down the pipeline with Istio 118, which ships in just a couple of weeks here, as well as what, what is ahead of us for the rest of the year. So uh, huge thanks to our program committee for the hours they spent putting this all together and uh, narrowing things down for us. So just, uh, we will quickly go through the schedule once. I'll not take much time. Um, yeah, we will have first John and Christian going to talk about the security posture of his TOMB and MeSH. Uh, followed by our TOC members, Lynn and Luis, going to talk about our 2023 roadmap updates. After this, we will have an um, end user talk from John Keats from Wicamp, where he's going to talk about uh, their onboarding journey to Istio. After the third talk, we will have a small break, so feel free to interact with all our TOC or steering members or all the Istio maintainers here and uh, feel free to engage with them. And immediately after the break, uh, we, we have this another end user talk uh, from Alexa and Zeni. I personally feel uh, a lot more happy when I see more female uh, speakers on stage, so happy about them as well. And then we have Zach, who's going to talk about his TO4 controls compliance. And we have three lightning talks from Mitch, Matt, and Zongu. So you will be having all these uh, sessions and details already in your uh, shared app, so please make maximum use of them. Uh, yeah. So yes, uh, we are so excited about the growing ecosystem and congrats to all our new users. So if you are an Istio user and your logo is not here, don't worry about this. It's just the list of companies that were added to the Istio ecosystem page in the last one year. So if you use Istio and you want to show support to the Istio community, please feel free to raise a pull request by adding your logo at the URL mentioned at the bottom. All right, we also have quite a few new contributors. Uh, the Istio team is growing, and this year we've added 86 new contributors to the Istio project. So if you've come by and dropped off a pull request uh, in the last 12 months for the first time, you should see your name here, and we welcome you. We are always looking for more new contributors, so appreciate the time and effort that these folks have put in in getting involved in the Istio project. And yes, we have a bunch of new maintainers also in the last one year. So these are the people who really support uh, the Istio community by reviewing, uh, improving, and uh, managing the Istio code base. So a big round of applause to all our new maintainers. They keep the community running. And of course, uh, where would we be without our release managers? It has been a very long time, but if you joined the Istio community early on, you know that our releases have not always run on schedule. 
Uh, but if you've joined us in the last three years, you might not know that because we have an amazing team of release managers who work tirelessly to keep that three months release cadence train going, keep all of our patches shipping on time. Uh, huge thanks to everyone who served in that capacity. All right, so if you are here and you're wondering how to get involved in the Istio community for the first time, we have a number of ways to do that. And the first is to be here and ask questions, to show up to our community meetings and our working group meetings. Uh, if you have a question about Istio, it's likely that a number of other people have that same question about Istio. They're really, we don't hear dumb questions. Uh, what we hear is people who are curious. If it's a question that is obvious to us, it means that that's a way for us to improve our documentation, make it clearer to other people. So show up, ask questions, submit bug reports, and then we're going to have a talk a little bit later about how you can even submit your first PR in five minutes or less to the Istio community. So feel free to jump in. Yeah, here are some logistics information. Many of this you will be already aware. So please make sure after the session you rate them in your shared app. And uh, the CNCF events team has asked us to remind that there is a networking reception immediately after the closing ceremony. So please stay back for the same. And uh, the speakers and audience, you can continue your discussions and doubts even uh, after the session in the CNC of Slack channel. The channel name is given here. So please join that and continue your uh, interaction there. And many of you already will be knowing Istio is having a full-time kiosk, K14. So please feel free to drop by and uh, let's have a conversation there as well. All right, so we have a couple of people to thank in particular. I want to invite uh, Eric Van Norman and Howard John up on the stage. You'll hear from them a little bit later. Eric and John make up the vast majority of all of our pull requests and our code getting merged. Also, our, uh, they make up the vast majority of the merge approvals. So if you've ever submitted a PR, you almost certainly have virtually met Eric and John. Uh, and we have a few uh, little tokens of our gratitude to show to them. Thank you both for your literally round-the-clock work. I think probably even right now work. If I logged in, I'd see that you were working on something uh, for the Istio community. It's really appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And now before we even get started, we have a pop quiz to kind of get an idea of what your experience and understanding of Istio is. These questions are going to start easy and they'll get a little bit more difficult. Uh, Fasila is going to be walking through the middle aisle here with a mic if you have an answer. I think once you take it, if you, we'll trust them to get it working. Uh, does anyone know what is the meaning of the Greek word Istio? The inspiration for the project. And uh, no program committee members can't apply, Fasila. We know you know. All right, we got one right back there. Whoops, Fasila, I think you've passed him. There we go. Uh, hello. Yeah, uh, it's um, uh, the thing in the middle of the board where you uh, put uh, the, your, I don't know the English word. I'm Greek, so I know the istio, what it means. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's easy for me, uh, but I don't know the English word. Uh, it's, uh, there you go. Google says mast or sail. Uh, yeah, so mast. There you go. I think that sounds right. Thanks for answering. All right, we're going to get a little bit more difficult. Uh, we've got three istio features listed here. Which of them can be used without any configuration beyond installing istio? MTLS, HTTP metrics, or distributed tracing? Choose all that apply. Yes, right up front. I guess it's metrics. The metrics, is that what you said? So that is a partially correct answer. We're going to need to look for a little bit more. Oh, there's one kind of in the middle there. Oh, and here's one, yeah. MTLS and HTTP metrics? That's correct. MTLS and HTTP metrics. Uh, distributed tracing does require you to do header propagation. So there's a little bit of configuration needed to take advantage of that. When was the first alpha release of Istio? Anybody been with us for that long? I haven't. You can Google if you want. Any takers? Yeah, we have a taker back here. 2017 is correct. Yes, that's right. Ooh, what month? Who is that? Do we have the month? Not January. I'm hearing May, but I don't know where I'm hearing it from. May is correct. 
No, oh. COC members are not allowed. <laughs> All right, if you, uh, Fasila, I'm gonna let you be judge of who, who got that one right. We got 2017 from one person, May from another person. Uh, yes, May, May 10th, 2017 was our first alpha release in the Istio project. All right, here's a tough one. Uh, which is the correct pronunciation? Is it Istio CTL, Istio Control, or Istio Cuddle? The tough ones have uh, special prices, not chocolates. So it's a CNC. All right, and before, before we take answers, I'll give you the, the correct answer is none of the above because we never defined it. Uh, so good luck. It's Istio with some consonants at the end. No one actually knows how to say it. I own the tool, and I don't know what it's called. Uh, but we hope you enjoy using it. Next question is a little less tricky. Uh, how long is, is each minor version of Istio supported for? Anybody know our support window for a minor version? This would be like 1.17 or 1.16. Okay, Keith, you, you count. You didn't help us write the support policy, did you? Okay, good, good. We, we can let him answer then. I think we hit this wrong though. Three releases? Three releases? It's pretty, that's pretty close. Our official policy, we'll call it good enough. Well, our official policy is two and a half releases. So you can go directly from 117 to 119, and then we give you kind of half a release window to actually perform the upgrade in once it comes out. All right, just a couple more. Which Istio resource restricts the workloads and ports accessible to a namespace? You already got one price. <laughs> All right, looks like we've got somebody. Peer authentication policy? I'm sorry, I can't hear. Peer authentication policy? Not quite. Good guess. There's someone raising their hand pretty far back there. Istio Gateways? Istio Gateways is not the right answer. That is another great resource that we support. I think it's authorization policy. Not quite. This one has a really uh, interesting name. We've got one more attempt here and then we will get out of the way of our uh, next presenters. Is it network network policy? It is not network policy. I think we might need to spoil the answer on this one. The correct answer is the sidecar resource, which uh, is the, probably the most unfortunately named resource in the entire Istio ecosystem because we call everything a sidecar. All right, uh, thank you all for participating. If some of these questions stumped you, hopefully before the end of the afternoon, you've gotten a little bit more information on uh, Istio and how you can use it. Uh, of course, you can get to our transcripts here for the hearing impaired um, and our code of conduct here. And with that, I'd like to inv invite John and, oh, sorry, was there? Yeah, so the CNC of uh, gift vouchers, whatever you got, please make sure you use it at the venue itself because it's, I think it's not, you cannot use it in the online store. So okay. make sure you use it here itself. Good to know. So John Howard is a staff engineer at Google and Christian Posta is field CTO at solo.io. They've both been around in the community for a long time and are here to share some of their invaluable work on Istio's ambient mode. Come on up.